Grade 8 Math, number 10.2D, Scale Factor from a Word Problem. We can find the scale factor of a dilation given in a word problem. Comparing the change in size, we can see a reduction or enlargement. When Tala and Emma need to build the set for their school play, it'll be a replica of a historic building painted onto a backdrop that's 20 feet long and 16 feet high. The actual building, the original, measures 400 feet long and 320 feet high. So Tali uses the mathematical notation of xy becomes 112x, 112y to represent the dilation. Was Tali's calculation correct if the replica needs to cover the entire backdrop? Well, it is supposed to be 20 feet and 16 feet. The original was 400 and 320. So we're going to compare the sizes. This is the image, this is the pre-image. 20 is less than 400 and 16 is less than 320, so we know it's going to be a reduction. And it will be a fraction of the original size. The width was 400, the height was 320, and Tal and Emma need to make it 20 and 16. So that's very much smaller. That's a big reduction, isn't it? Is it 1 12th, though? Well, this means that Tala, well, and Emma think that 20 is 1 12th of 400 and 16 is 1 12th of 320. Are they? Is the scale 1 12th? All we have to do is multiply 20 by 12 and 16 by 12 to find out. 20 times 12 is 240. That's not 400. 16 times 12 is 192. That's not 320. That's too small. We need it to be a different scale. All we have to do is write the image on top and the pre-image on the bottom. What it needs to be is 20. What it was was 400. Remember we did that a couple videos ago? If we write it this way, all we have to do is simplify the fraction. We just reduce the fraction. 20 goes into 400, 120. See? 120 goes into 40, 400, 20 times. The 16 goes into 320, 20 times. So we see that it reduces to 120th. We know the scale factor is 120th, not 112th. Okay? It wasn't that hard, was it? All you have to remember is that the image, the new image goes as the numerator and the pre-image, the original one, goes as the denominator and you'll be able to figure out the ratio, okay? That's all we did. Now in 10.2e, we're going to talk about what happens when our transformation shares a point with the original figure. When the image shares an xy coordinate with the pre-image. Let's see what happens with that, okay? That's 10.2e. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you next video. Bye.